Yeah, g'day, Bush Camping Tools here. Well, what I thought I'd try is, can you light a fire with a pair of reading spectacles? Is that possible? You have to remember your focal length, uh, depending on what kind of spectacles you, spectacles you wear, if you wear them indeed, uh, for reading spectacles, the focal length might be about a foot away. So you can't be up close on the subject. You've got to be far away on it. So that's what we're going to try and do now. I'm not going to actually try to start any flames. I'm going to try to get something smoldering and, and light something from something which is smoldering. So for that, I've chosen some, some of this uh, fire tinder fungus, but it's a bit wet underneath, but we're still going to give it a go anyway. Okay, let's move on. So this, this is dry on the top, one of these fire tinder fungus uh, fruiting bodies, but underneath it's actually wet underneath, uh, underneath of here. Let's have a look here. It's wet underneath of there. And uh, so that would not catch fire. When these are dry, these will catch fire underneath of there. But on the surface, this is still dry. You could scrape it off, but we'll use the outer part of it. Right, okay, I gave up with the glasses because the focal point is just too big. The focal point, the size of the spot, obviously is about the size of one's eye. You know, so you can't concentrate enough energy. Now I've got an ordinary magnifying glass just on some birch bark. And we've got some smoldering there, but it's not going to last. You see, it goes out when I do that. I'm going to try over here on this area. You see, it starts smoldering immediately. And uh, what I really want to catch is the fungus. This tinder, fire tinder fungus. Because once that starts smoldering, it will continue to smolder. Everything's got to be right for this. And the fire tinder fungus is just a little damp, I'd have to leave it and forgo having a fire today in reality, I think, but we'll see. Okay, so this is a bit of the alta fungus. It's very dry, but in is really wet. And I gotta get this thing to continue smoldering. And I think I can get it going. Like all these fire starting techniques without a match or cigarette lighter or flint, one has to be really patient. Okay, so uh, finally, I've got to go. It might be a bit hard to see if I hold it there. It's a bit windy here, but there's smoke coming out of it, so it's smoldering within sight, in, inside of it. And the smoke's coming out over this direction there. If you can just see it, I'll just hold it steady on it. See some smoke coming out, so it's finally going, and that's the way to get a fire going. Now what we're going to do is get some dry grass. I'm going to let this smolder for a while. Dry oak leaves, but we could try grass too. Lots of dry grass here. Not the green stuff. So if I'm careful, I'm going to try to extract out this. This is a bit wet on the inside, but it's what's the outside is drying. I'm going to dry that, put it in the sun, and try and get what is smoldering. Okay, I'm going to leave that in the sun and let that smolder a bit more to dry that out. Okay, we need to get it going right in there. See the smoke coming out of there? Got to have patience here. Let's try again. Okay, we need a little bit more tinder. Let's get that first. It's very hot in there. Okay, let's see if we can get this.
Gotcha. Okay. So it's possible. I don't want to start a grass fire, but we could keep this going if we wanted to. Right, there we go, lots of flames. It's possible to get a fire going with your reading spectacles if you've got something to smolder. All right, better put it out. Bush camping tools here. Thanks for watching. Okay, so the whole point is if you're using this fire tinder fungus for this, I mean, obviously you can only do this if you happen to have a magnifying glass and um, or spectacles with you and something to keep smoldering, but this will smolder all day like this, okay? All day, all right.